What's up guys, it's Loro Lego here with another Lego house showcase. I built this house just to kind of fill the time gap in between now and my next uh, major house update on the other house. So I just decided to make this small little modern house and I figured I'd showcase it in the meantime. So uh, right here we have uh, sort of a I don't know, it's it's a carport, and then there's some vertical supports or diagonal supports on the side. A little skylight up here that's actually glass. Had to do some sideways building for that. Uh, in the back, there's a nice little flower bed, and the, these windows wrap around all the way in this little carport area. There's another window. There's also some various windows all over the second floor and uh, just for scale purposes I put a little car in there to show you that it would fit I figured the best way to showcase the different angles of this house is to just take the camera off the tripod and do it that way so that's what I'm gonna do alright So, uh, under there you can see that there is an entrance, or actually, it's kind of hard to see. There we go. You can see the entrance in there. Oh gosh. Here, alright, got it. So. I'm going to take the second level off and then we can showcase the first level which is basically just a sitting area with the TV so and you do take the supports off with the second level right there as you can see I'm just going to flip this over and put it upside down Oh gosh. Alright, so in there you can see that there is a a chair and a couch as well as a TV and a lamp. And the windows wrap all the way around, there's the entrance. And in this corner there's a ladder, as you can see right here, that goes down into the first floor. Didn't have enough room for stairs, so I wanted to put this chair in, and I figured the chair is more important, so I put a ladder in instead. So let's look at the second floor now. Gosh, freaking finger got in the way again. Sorry about that. Alright. Let's turn this around so it's easier. All right, let's take the roof off here. There's the how I put the skylight on, it's just a transparent wall element turned on its side. Alright, so this is the second level, and if you are coming up the ladder, you can go this way and get to the little sitting slash eating area, or you can go this way and get to the, the kitchen <laughs> slash bedroom area. It's a weird combination, but there needed to be a kitchen, and there also needed to be a bedroom, and this is the only space left, so I combined them. But you know, it, it just makes 
getting breakfast easier. You just get out of bed and make breakfast. And you know, it's especially important for this old dude who lives here because he doesn't move a lot. And then there's a nice little, um, a nice little balcony looking over the sitting area. And just some little decorations and stuff. Uh, one thing that is particularly difficult when building this house was actually making the supports get diagonal. Because, uh, well, first of all, I was actually planning of making them uh, be under, like they would come diagonally up and attach to right here, but. They were extremely tall, and I didn't want to make the first floor that tall. So what I did was attach them to the sides with some really, uh, really complex Lego geometry. But you know, it worked. And it turned out... Well, I think it turned out okay. Uh, if you wanted to see more houses with some complex building techniques, or just more houses in general, drop a line in the comments and if you like have a specific idea that you would like me to try and make I'll do that too I mean if I can but that was a two-story modern house gosh I'm running out of names for these because they're all pretty much two stories and modern <laughs> so I'm just going to start calling them modern houses. This is modern house number three and a half. Two and a half. Two and a half. Modern house number two and a half. Uh, yeah. Lower Lego, signing off.